welcome to my vlog. It's your girl Trisha Yu. So I'm here to talk about relationships. So speaking of relationships, I'm gonna show you first one of my favorite books that I read before. Um, I thought I could use this as a reference for today's vlog. So wait, I'm trying to focus because <laughs> it's kind of dark. Anyway, this is Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, so this is a definitive guide to relationships. Take a good look. So my topic for this vlog is actually one of the chapters from this book, which is how to communicate difficult feelings. So as what you have observed, when we are upset, frustrated, disappointed, or just simply angry about something, it is truly difficult to communicate lovingly. When negative emotions come up, we tend to momentarily lose our calm. In the heat of a moment, we tend to forget how to communicate in the way that works for our partner or for us. Okay, so let's start. Um, with the scenario of arguing so to tell you honestly <laughs> us women unknowingly tend to guilt trip our partner I in fact am guilty with that kind of toxic trait um, we would reach to an extent where we already assume the worst whereas men tend to become inconsiderate and insensitive of our feelings where he feels a surge of negative feelings it would really reach to a point where he doesn't really really realize that it already it is already affecting us forgive me it's really quite hot in here <laughs> anyway back to the topic um there are really times that when talking does not work already when resolving the problem but there are also alternatives. Um, instead of verbally sharing your feelings with your partner, you can maybe write him or her a letter. I really don't know if it still applies until now. Um, by that, you can somehow express more. But in my case, I actually prefer giving my partner some time to calm down before actually talking to him so that we can avoid to say things that we don't actually mean. Successful communication would be second nature if we grow up in a family where they're already capable of honest and loving communication. But in, in previous generations, to be honest, so-called loving communication generally meant avoiding negative feelings, which is actually very much toxic. Um, it was often as if negative feelings were a shameful sickness and something to be locked away in the closet. So, <clears throat> this toxic trait of not telling your partner what's wrong or just let it simply bottle up inside you shouldn't be practiced in a relationship because the key to a healthy, stable relationship is consistency the act of or the practice of compromising and lastly communication so guys i wish i was able to help you out with some of my relationship advice so this ends my vlog bye